So earlier today I made a, another ferro cell, um, quite a crude one, out of uh, Lexan, two pieces of Lexan. Uh, they're just two flat pieces and I did the usual um, WD-40 and some um, ferro fluid in between and squished them together and um, I'm just going to have a look at and see how this turned out. So there's my, um, let me see, it's my half inch uh, neodymium magnet and as you can see the ferro cell is working quite well. The plexiglass, or should I say the Lexan, each piece is about half, uh, half an inch thick. And so actually it's exactly the thickness of this magnet. Uh, it seems like the thicker pieces of glass and um, plastic uh, make better pictures. I'm not sure why. It might have something to do with the refractive inde index of the material itself. I think it's really cool. This is actually quite nice. There you can see a beautiful pattern on either side. You're looking at the north pole up, south pole down, or vice versa. I'm not sure which. If I turn it like this, then you're going to see a different view. What you're seeing is the block wall slash dielectric inertial plane of the magnet. So you got north pole here, south pole here, or vice versa. I'm not sure which. If I turn it like this, you get the opposite. Um, but the main point of this video was to show that Lexan, which is a clear plastic, um, makes a very nice ferro cell. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do here is I've got some new lights. I'm using uh, some RGB lights and I'm going to change the color. So now we're looking at red and then we're going to look at green and then we're going to look at blue. Now the blue is not as bright so you're not seeing um, as much but also what I want, what I'm starting to notice is that the blue is much thinner than the green, which is much thinner than the red. So I find that the, the red lines that are forming are very thick. And when I switch to the blue, you'll see they're quite thin. And I believe that has to do with the frequency of light. Uh, the refractive index of um, the material, as well as the color of the light. Let's go back to the white light. Now you can see the colors are being split up a little bit because they're RGB lights so red, green, and blue are in this light together and the um, either the ferrofluid or the Lexan is separating the colors out which also looks very neat. So there we have it. Lexan makes a really good ferrocell. Thank you very much.